Hey Spoon and Spy people, I'm back with my first make from my last sewing plans video. And this is the double circle skirt from the Freehand Fashion Book by Chinola Bailey. I would say that this is more of a sew along than a step by step tutorial. If you want to make this skirt, I would highly recommend purchasing the book yourself. It's definitely a great book to have in your sewing library. If you are interested, I will leave a link in the description below. As you can see, I've not used the fabric that I had planned to use for this skirt. There is a story behind that and it goes like this. So I started well with the fabric I had planned to use, took my measurements, waist hip, waist to hip, skirt length, and then it started making the calculations first one was the first radius and then I did the second radius calculations and this is where it went a little wrong. Basically what I had done is taken my measurements in inches and not centimetres so my final measurement for the second radius was 29.5 centimetres when it should have been 63.5 centimetres. However at this point I hadn't noticed and it carried on with the instructions. The next step was after cutting what I thought was the right amount of fabric was to cut it into two. One half to form the front piece of the skirt and the other half would form the two back pieces. Folded one of the pieces in half along the width and then again along the length and then put it aside. That's the front skirt piece ready. With the other piece which would be the back piece, fold in half across the width and then fold over and press a 2.5 centimeter zip allowance along the folded edge. Just making sure I got the measurement right. Should have probably done the same thing earlier. <laughs> anyway, I continued by laying both the pieces on top of each other along the folded edge. And then it was time to mark the first radius which was going to be for the waist measurement and the second radius which is for the skirt length radius as in all around the hem. I started with the first radius and that's for the waist and that's really just positioning the head of the tape on the point and working from one edge to the other using that measurement that you should have correctly. And then did the same for the second radius, which will form your hem. At this point, I was still oblivious to the fact that this skirt was going to be too short and that I was actually making a skirt for a doll. <laughs> However, as I was even doing this, I noticed something just in the nick of time before I started cutting. And that was that I needed to place the back piece and align it to the unfolded edge of the front piece so that there was a 2.5% space on the folded edge. At this point I took a sigh of relief thinking that I'd saved the day and had not cut the fabric wrongly. And so I started to re-measure the radiuses from the new point. It's clearly shown in the diagram in the book but it took me a while for me to notice it. So measurements redone, seam allowances added, and I started cutting. And it was only at this point that I held 
up the fabric and realized no this is way too short I looked back at my measurements and seen the error that I had made but I was not about to give up I was disappointed that I felt that I'd wasted this beautiful fabric that I wanted to use I just decided look let me just start with a new fabric I want to make this project I wasn't prepared to just let it go so here I am with the new fabric that I found starting from the point that I left off with the black fabric so now with the right amount of fabric with the right measurements I cut round the new radiuses and in the end I wasn't disappointed with this fabric at all just glad that it was available and I didn't have to give up on this project With the two pieces cut, open up the first fold, that's the front piece, so that you have a semicircle, and then cut along the top fold from one edge up to the center hole, and this edge will be the side seam. The opposite side will be the center front. Again, open up the back piece so you have a semicircle, cut off the folded zip allowance on just one side of the center hole. But on the other side, you want to just cut along the zip allowance fold so it opens up into two back pieces. Here I'm just working on the lining pieces which is pretty much making a straight skirt. Uh, the, inst the instructions in the book are really straightforward for this. You will need interfacing for the lining pieces. Attach the front lining to the front skirt and sew, making sure you clip the seam so that it's easier to turn. And on the back pieces here, I'm measuring the opening for the zip that I'm about to attach. Attaching zips has become one of my new favorite sewing tasks, just because I think I've got to grips with the technique now. Zip attached, then attach the back lining to the back outer fabric. And then I created my own pockets for the first time, just tracing around my hand. I really wasn't sure what I was doing here, but it seemed to worked out in the end. I even lined the pockets to make it a little bit more comfortable. Pockets attached and just sew the side seams of both the lining and the outer fabric. And I was pretty much done, apart from just neatening the area around the zip with a little hand stitching. As per the instructions, one thing you need to do is to let the skirt hang for 24 hours before you actually complete the hem. And Aquila was on hand to do that for me. And here's a completed look. Overall, I love this skirt. I love the way it flows. I love the way it hangs on me. And it's quite a good look. Not too short, any shorter, and I don't think I could have worn this skirt. I will be making it again using the fabric of my choice. But I did like this fabric in the end. Inadvertently, I somehow, with this mistake, managed to land right on trend with the whole embroidery look that is in the stores at the moment. And this is a really beautifully embroidered fabric. Oh, I forgot to mention that it's actually an African print fabric. So made out of 100% cotton. I have made a corresponding post on my blog if you want to see more pictures. Leave your comments, let me know what you think of this look. 
Are you thinking of making this skirt yourself? I'd love to see the results. In the meantime, like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Have a great week. Take spirit-inspired actions and do it in style.